Today I'm going to talk about protecting your peace. Because of COVID and the different variants of COVID, a lot of stuff is going on that is causing stress to people and rightfully so. We've not been in these times before and we don't know what to expect. It's about almost two years in and stuff is still going on. So with that, it is very important that we make sure that we stay healthy because if we got people that's always causing us problems and stress in our life, that affects us. If you're feeling depressed and if you're anxious, it affects you overall. It could... if that does not ever get fixed. You know, it causes sleep problems, causes early death if, if it's not uh, handled in the long term. And nobody has time for all that crazy, unnecessary drama. When we're kids, we can't always protect our environment because you have to go where your mother, where your father, or wherever your caretaker tells you to go. You don't have much say in the matter, but as long as, but now that we're adults, we can control a lot of our lives. So if our peace is lacking, we have to ask ourselves, am I the problem? And of course, that's hard to say because sometimes we want to point fingers and say everybody else is the problem. But no, can I control my lack of peace? So follow me with this. And if you haven't already, go ahead, like, and subscribe. And like I said, once I get to that thousand, if I get there by the end of January, 2022, I am going to offer free um, two 50 minute um, therapy sessions. And I'll tell you more about that if the goal is met. So starting off in um, personal relationships. And I, you know, if you look at your social media, and people will tell you, oh, the likes don't matter. If people aren't engaging, you shouldn't care. They care too. They just want to try to look cool and be the cool kids at the high school. But they care too, and you should care too. What I'm going to tell you is this. You're spending your time so on social media. You could be doing something with your life. You're going through. You're engaging with other people. They're not engaging with you. They see your business. They see you got stuff going on. You're selling lashes. You're selling clothes. You're selling your books. You're selling your pop art, whatever it is. People are acting like they don't see you, but you're steady telling them, oh, congratulations, you just finished school. Oh, congratulations, your kid just got an A and joined the dance team, the band team, and you're not getting this stuff back. What I would suggest, you already know the, the solution, right? Follow me. Cleaning up your social media, going through, if you don't want to let them know that you have unfollowed them, um, unfriended them, just unfollow them. Or if you want to be bold to unfriend them. And then if people are doing and saying stuff you don't like, you got people saying um, COVID stuff you can't stand. And every time you pass by, pass by them, you're swiping, Ugh, I can't stand it. Why? That lets you know, you trust your gut. And if you got this negative reaction, it's there for a reason. Go ahead and um, delete these people, block them. They got views, political views that you don't like and it just irks you so much. Go ahead, forget it, block it. Some people may tell you, well, you need to be more real, real, um, well-rounded and you should have um, taken other people's views without you um, having to block whatever. That could be true. But if it's so much bothering you, get rid of it another way to protect your peace you got family members friends and all these people from the past okay if they come sometimes it can be good if they come back but look at the quality of the relationship when you last saw these people was it positive if so okay let them come on back but if these relationships was negative you know this person is a scam artist these people always causing all type of problems you can't trust them a thief always doing something crazy calling drama causing drama I'ma never apologize to you. Just keep on doing the same stuff and they want to reach out and they want to try to see if you still dumb and crazy. Don't, don't have, you don't have to feel bad even if it was your childhood friend or a family member. I think the thing is is to stop caring about these old relationships and to stop allowing some people in society to tell you just because a person shares the same blood with you that blood is thicker than water and you have to take these people back no you don't if you know every time you're um talking with this person and you all come up plans i'm like yeah we're going to get this business started yeah we're going to do this did it did it did it and as soon as it's time to plan these people are nowhere around Huh? But as soon, you know, when it's trying to put some money up, when it's time to sit down and do some work, they ain't nowhere to be found. But you put all your energy into this a conversation. Now you're on the phone one, three hours with this person planning, but now th th they're nowhere to be found. And then you start doing all the work yourself and you post it and everything. They don't buy from you. They don't comment. 
or nothing. They're just going in the wind. The thing is, that, like I said, this disturbs your peace because now you're feeling a certain way. You're frustrated. You're angry. You're sad, depressed. Whatever it is, you're anxious because now you have done all this work. And this person who told you they had your back, you found out they really had your back. That's not protecting your peace. So if you, now, if it happens to you one time, okay, maybe two, mm, but definitely not three times. They shouldn't be able to continue to get over you, uh, over on you. You see who this person is. It don't matter if you're family. Yes, you may think, oh, family is everything and longtime friends are everything and family should be this way and friends should be this way. But do they think that? If you're thinking like that, but they're not thinking like that, you're wasting your time. You cannot have, make everybody have the same worldview that you have. Everybody does not operate by the same rules that you operate by. And that's okay because your tribe may be smaller. When I was younger, I had a bunch of friends. The older I got, the friends started dwindling. And I thought that was a problem. But now that I look at it, a lot of people are crappy people. You know, and I looked at people and I see, well, people ain't as good as I thought. Not everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that, yeah, of course there's some good people out here. But a lot of them are crappy. Like, have you met people? Have you met them? Well, if you met them, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Leave your comments down behind on other ways that you can protect your peace. Follow with me. Also, another way to protect your peace is at um, home. If you got people around you and you can't escape, you don't have your money up, find things to do so you look busy so they're not bothering you. Get yourself some headphones. If you got your room, go in there. If you living with somebody and um, it may be difficult because of COVID, if you can't, go to the library, read some books, do something to try to stay out of that house. When you come in, make it seem like you're just so busy. You always um, doing something on the YouTube, listening to some type of podcast with your headphones in to let people know that you are not trying to be bothered with them, okay? Set those type of boundaries, you know, like, I oh, know I can't do it. People around you, if they hauling you, constantly begging you for money all the time, even if they paying it back, why are they so reckless with their money and they constantly need your money? You're not calling and begging them for money. Don't always answer that person begging for money. You know what they want. They've been begging for 50 million years. Don't answer their call. It's okay. So what if they get mad? They ghosting you anyway. Do they give you a good explanation? No. Oh, I was busy. That's so trifling and not a good explanation. So why are you caring? Hmm? And then you feeling all type of negative. Your stomach jumping. You pounding on your thighs when they call you. You don't have to do all that. That's you allowing these people to um, bother your peace. You a grown woman. You a grown man. It's, you don't have to answer your phone. Are they paying your AT&T, your Sprint? Are they paying your Verizon bill? No, they are not. So the, why are you letting people tell you what to do with the phone that they not paying for? Did they buy your new phone? No, they did not, okay? You don't owe these people any type of explanation. If these people are moving, you're the first one they call. Why? Because they know that you're going to do it, okay? Why? Because the thing is, we as humans, we like to we like the easy route. So if we find somebody who always want to say yes, we're going to go to that person because who wants to go to the person who's always saying no? We want to do things as efficient as possible. So why would I go to 10 people who may say no when I can go to you who definitely want to be a people pleaser and just want to say yes? So don't always make yourself so available. Who cares if, oh, well, you may say to yourself, well, they know I have people got their phone attached to them, so they know if I'm not answering their calls or ignoring their text messages. So what? They probably do it to you and other people doing it to them. The thing is, you got to learn to um, whatever energy is given to you to give it right back. That's the only way you want to gain that respect and to keep that respect. People respect you when you do the same stuff they, that they do on you back to them. That's what I've seen. So they're ignoring your calls, protect your peace, ignore their calls. They text you five days late, you text them seven days late. This may seem petty, I don't care, it works, okay? They, they only call you when they want something. If you found some type of need for them, only call them when they want something. If they get on the phone with you and they haven't called you and they're going on, oh, you should have called me, you never called, put it right back on them. Oh, you, it worked two ways, you never called me, keep it going. 
Protect your peace at work. Don't always be the first one to volunteer for the project. Now, if they're giving you some incentive and an incentive is something you like, good. But if you regret it after, you you messing up your own peace. Just like, for instance, I'll tell you this. My job, it was my day off. They te they sent me text messages to a group of us. Hey, can you feel this shift at 7 something in the morning? Blah, 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 blah. Normally, I would respond like in about 10 minutes. I didn't respond. Why? Because my peace had been disturbed. I didn't want a message from them on my day off. Tell me this when I'm at work. So what if they found out on the weekend that they, they were short? Because sometimes I help them do the crisis calls. You need to tell me that while I'm on your dollar. When I'm on my dollar, I don't want you calling me or texting me about some shift. That's my time I'm on. Now, I will help sometimes with the extra opening shifts because we're low on staff when I'm at work. But don't be call keep calling me on my time off. Did I tell them that? No, I wasn't that bold. But I let them know I never did answer that call. Even the next day, you think I replied with an email? No, I surely didn't. You know, I, like I said before, sometimes I have answered, but no. It's like, no, y'all know y'all short staff. You've been short staff for a year. Now it's time for you to get yourself together because in the past I've answered those tests. That's no. It's been a year, you know. So you got to look at that with people and with organizations. How long have you not had your stuff together? And why do I have to be put in a bad position waking up two and a half hours earlier because you don't have enough coverage or you didn't plan your day properly when you know that this has been a problem forever and when I believe that you can do better. So no, you you got to protect your time. I could just sit back like, dang, they calling me again. I love you. But why? I did at first, but then I took some deep breaths and calmed myself down and said, look, I ain't got to answer this. They don't pay my phone. They don't pay my test message fees. So if they do say, say something, I'm going to let them know. I don't have a company phone. Now, oh, that's a good thing I said that because if you got a company phone, you probably you probably do need to um answer that test and that call. Don't let me get you fired, okay, because you can't come stay with me and I'm not going to help you. So um, now that we got that back. And also another last thing to protect your peace at work, avoid the gossip and the talking about the bosses and everybody else because I'm telling you your co-workers will hee hee ha ha in your face they in talking about the people at work and they'll say something negative too just to get you to say something negative sometimes that's a, a, a game people will say something a little negative just to get you to talk and say something negative then they go tell on you and they won't say what they said and people will do that. You know, they won't even be making $20 an hour at the job. And they'll be kissing up in the boss, laughing and gossiping behind the boss face. And as soon as you go, you know, so-and-so said this and did this that time and blah, blah, blah. They'll be doing that just to try to get a dollar raise, baby. They're making $21 an hour. And in California, you can barely do anything with that, especially in Southern California. They'll be doing all kind of strange stuff for a little bit of um, extra change, a little quarter on a um, paycheck every year that's going to get extra tax and they'll do it to throw you under the bus so be careful with that so and so again to get to get your peace have some boundaries what you will accept and what you will not accept and also enforce those boundaries meaning don't just have a boundary but actually do something with that boundary to make it stick so other people will know that i'm not the first person to call you need to go call somebody else no i can't help you make up something if you need to Jesus, forgive you. Uh-uh, the way my back is working, I can't help you uh, pack up no boxes and carry no stairs. Mm-mm-mm, the way my tire is shaking, I can't take you from this city to another city an hour away. Have you thought about Uber and Lyft? Set yourself some boundaries and protect your peace. Bye.